We usually think that fat is bad for our hearts, but some local doctors are trying to prove what's in your fat can actually help repair your heart. I was the only reporter invited into Pepin Heart Hospital when a groundbreaking clinical trial got underway. We're taking action for your health today with a procedure that may change the way heart disease is treated. Dr. Paul Smith is performing liposuction on a Clearwater man, but not for cosmetic purposes. What's in these little tubes may eventually change this man's limited life and the lives of many others. I just walk out to pick up the newspapers. By the time I get back to sit down in the house, I'm already winded. 59-year-old Kevin Halewood suffered a heart attack, had quadruple bypass surgery, and had a defibrillator implanted in his chest. Now, despite all of that, he still has congestive heart failure, meaning his heart doesn't pump blood as well as it should. Except for a heart transplant, there's really nothing else doctors can do. So Kevin signed up for an experimental treatment, injecting his own stem cells into his damaged heart. Dr. Charles Lambert is heading up the study at Florida Hospital's Pepin Heart Hospital. The goal is to see if it improves these folks' quality of life and cardiac function. Uh, there are a lot of stem trials, stem cell trials out there. This is really the first one where we're taking the stem cells from fat rather than bone marrow or other sources. The reason? Dr. Lambert says the stem cells in fat behave differently. In theory, they can turn into heart cells or blood vessels or anything. What they seem to do is promote angiogenesis, so they seem to make blood vessel growth uh, where we put them. So using a high-tech mapping system, Dr. Lambert can send the stem cells up an artery into the heart and inject the cells right into specific areas of Kevin's weakened heart. How will he know if the cells are working? These patients are tested on a treadmill with a metabolic cart. Uh, so we get their exercise response and their heart response, but we actually measure maximal oxygen consumption. And that's a primary, you know, hard endpoint for this study. For Kevin, his hopes are simple. He just wants to have the stamina again to wax his prized Jaguar. I don't put anything off now. I get kind of emotional, but... Um, um, Dr. Lambert says if Kevin got the stem cells and not a placebo, we should see if he can wax that car again within six months. The trial is being sponsored by Cytori Therapeutics. Now, there are some risks. Risks to lipo are minimal. The risk of injecting the heart has other higher risks. But in Mr. Halewood's case, Dr. Lambert says the procedure went well and the patient is doing fine. For more information on this trial, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado WFTS and like the page.